19. But that toss to White. Congratulations, Atlanta Falcons. You have just completed one of the greatest choke jobs in the history of professional sports. You blessed the city of Atlanta with a 25-point lead, but proceeded to introduce them to a pain level of 12 on the Cleveland scale. John, tell us how they did it. Bill, the Falcons collapsed so hard that if they were a building, it would be considered a terrorist attack. Once they were leading 28-3, several key factors undid them. They were incredibly conservative with their play calling in order to burn the clock, only to get cocky and gamble for big plays at the worst possible times. That potent offense went into neutral and Matty Ice turned into a pumpkin after the third quarter. They did the one thing you don't do when facing the Patriots. Put your guard down. Seriously, John, you can't blame coaching for terrible pass protection on Matt Ryan's fumble or that unbelievable catch by Julian Edelman, but why in God's name do you try to pass on second down in field goal range when a point all but wins you the game? Total arrogance by Kyle Shanahan, Bill. Then Jake Matthews shits himself via a well-timed holding call after that. Chance to seal the game? No. And San Francisco wants to give this guy complete control over their franchise for one good year. Have fun, Niners fans. The offensive impotence forced the defense to stay out on the field for ridiculously long stretches of time, completely exhausting them and allowing Tom Brady to pick them apart piece by piece. Game, set, and match. Atlanta has now landed on the map of most tortured sports cities in America. What a great group to join, Bill. And they also get the added bonus of having the majority of football fans and sports bettors ready to kill them at a moment's notice. The liquor is to the left, Falcons fans. You're gonna need it. You fool!